Hello, my name is Joe Richter. I am a real estate broker and an associate broker with Keller Williams Realty. I am licensed in California and Oregon. I prepare these monthly reports that look at the market trends for 14 different communities in market segments that we define as the lifestyle artery of Orange County. It runs from Newport Beach through Irvine, through Baker Ranch, Foothill Ranch, Portola Hills, Dove Canyon, Cota de Casa, and Ladera Ranch. Each report looks at a specific community and takes a focused look at that particular pro market product. In this case we're looking at Ladera Ranch condos. We refer to these as the current market trends. The data was for gathered on May 1st, so it's for period January 1st, 2020 through April 30th, 2020, which is the first four months of the year, which also includes uh, the first full month of the uh, stay-at-home lockdown, and we will be comparing uh, the changes over the last 30 days since our last report. We will also be highlighting uh, uh, the differences between 2019 and 2020 on a, on a year-to-date basis and we will be looking at the last five years. The headline has to be new listings fall sharply and while we're looking specifically at the Ladera Ranch condo graph here which is pretty obvious we're seeing the same thing in the other 14 communities. There's really not much to explain here. We are in an abnormal market for sure. One of the first questions we get when we're talking about buying or selling with customers is what type of market are we in? Are we in a buyer's market, a seller's market? And so we always address that question first. Chapman University defines a buyer's market in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. As you can see here, Ladera Ranch, which is literally Ladera Ranch condos, which are literally ha have the lowest months of inventory of any of the communities that we monitor. So there's less than a month of supply in Ladera Ranch based on year-over-year -year monthly inventory statistics. Next we address the current market, meaning the homes that are currently actively selling in a community. So there are 13 active listings for Ladera condos. There were 35 new listings over the last 90 days. 13 of those are still on the market. There were eight new listings over the last 30 days, which means there were actually eight new listings in April, which is really rather good. So here's where we're trying to find what's happening in the market. And to do this, we look at the three key disciplines of buying and selling, listing, going to contract, and closing. So we're going to talk about new listings, contracts written, and closings. In this particular case you can see that we are running 28 percent behind 2019 and this is the graph you saw earlier you can see how we're falling off significantly from 2016 which is the best year of the last five and 2019 the prior year which really wasn't a bad year we're significantly below that at the moment. Chances are good we're going to do a little dip down into here someplace, level off in June, and Fannie Mae is projecting a very robust, very strong recovery third and fourth quarters. They're expecting something like this to happen. Next we look at the contracts written. You can see that uh, in January, February started off very well and then when we got into March and April things really tapered off and 
even so, with the strong start to the year, even with the big tape on, tape uh, fall off, we're still even with last year, 2019's performance, on a year-to-date basis. Then we have to look at closings. Um, closings are ahead, uh, 65 percent ahead of last year, and that's largely because the year started off very strong in January. There were a number of contracts entered into in December and they closed in January. We had a strong February. As you can see it's even better than uh, the, the other two years were being compared to. And even March was strong. So the year started off very strong for closings, but closings follow contracts by 35 to 45 days. So there's no question at this point unless the market gets super hot, we're going to see this taper down into here someplace. Could level off, but this is where we'll probably be for the next two months. And if all goes well, if we get the boost in contracts in August, we'll start to see the boost in closings in September. Buyers and sellers will always want to know, what am I going to get? What I have to give? Well, the positive news for sellers in Ladera Ranch condos is the prices this year are 1.6% above ahead of last year. And that's pretty normal for this time of year. As this, usually as the summer progresses, uh, we see this number increase to 2, 3, 4%. Uh, most of our other communities are hanging at zero or are slightly negative. So. Ladera Ranch condo pricing is really good. The average asking price for the homes that are currently listed, the 13 homes that are currently listed, is 549,000. The range is from 462,000 to 645,000. Closings are where the rubber meets the road. Over the last 90 days in Ladera Ranch condos, there have been 35 closings. 13 of those sold below the current list price, 6 sold at the current list price, and 16 sold above the current list price. This is extremely normal um, activity for Ladera Ranch, particularly the condos. So uh, no, no abnormalities in this pricing market at this moment. Days on market, DOM, is the time it takes from activating a listing to getting an acceptable uh, offer and signing a contract. In this particular case, all active listings have been on the market for 42 days. 33 days ago, excuse me, 30 days ago it was 33 days. Normal and ideal is between 30 and 45, between 35 and 50 days. Uh, any any time you can sell a home in that range, you're, you've got a very balanced market for buyers and sellers and pricing. The slowdown that we're seeing will unlike undoubtedly force the days on market to go up. Inventory is always a key indicator of whether we're in a buyer or seller's market. Days on market come into play on that. But ultimately it's what is affecting pricing. Inventory is as pointed out in that in that first graphic is is extremely low and consistently low year over year in Ladera Ranch for condos. So in many respects I would call this a common or normal market. St you can see Chapman University defines with this red line that the buyer's market begins at 3.5 months. What we need to watch is that the uh, inventory over the last 90 days did go up 62 percent which is pretty normal for this time of year. But on a year-over-year -year basis, we're down 58 percent, and April 2019 compared to April 2020, 
we're down 62 percent. Uh, those are indicators of a, sh a, sh a sh shortfall in supply and uh, we'll probably keep prices up. The other thing that will probably keep prices up is that this price point from 450 to 650 thousand dollars is considered the sweet spot right now because most lenders, Wells Fargo, Citibank, are no longer doing jumbo loans. In other words, people could get, cannot get loans greater than $760,000 here in Orange County. But homes that can sell under those price points can still get financing and good financing, 90, 95, even 97 percent financing. So it is expected that the 450 to $725,000 price range market is going to be the strongest uh, over the next 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 months. This is a map of the market activity that uh, is shown in our data and it can be found on our website, joe-richter.com, under um, a, a navigation link, community underscore listings, ASPX. That means it's a dynamic listing. It's constantly changing. It's connected live to the MLS. So if you go click on that, you'll get up to the minute. I mean, literally, it's as fresh as fresh can be. It's fresher than Zillow. RedfinRealtor.com. This is this is a direct link. It's not going through anybody. This is a screenshot of the uh, thumbnails of uh, the listings that were shown in that map. Uh, you on the website. You can. You will also have uh, access to these. Clicking on any one of them will bring up the underlying detail. These are the current active listings. These are the homes that have closed so far this year. This is a graph chart of those listings that have closed. Kind of shows you the the range, uh, the blue lines, the value. It's kind of the the what's called the trend line, the value line, the middle middle line so to speak. So in conclusion what I'd like to say to you sellers out there after seeing this level of detail for Ladera Ranch condos and understanding that we do this for 14 other market segments over to Newport Beach our data provides a great backdrop. You can see as your real estate agent we know the timing, neighborhood values, and marketing strategies needed to take full, of market, full advantage of any market conditions and to help you sell your house. And for you buyers who are wondering where to start, you now know we have the market knowledge and technical expertise to cover all of Southern Count, South Orange County we can help you identify the best neighborhood and find the right home for the next phase of your life. Please contact me. The team I work with would love to be of service. Thank you very much.